SPB stands for small piggy bottom. <laughs> well, starting tomorrow, you are invited to spend the night with the late author C.S. Lewis at the Westport Playhouse. It is a one-man show. This show stars St. Louis native Greg Welsh, who does the best British accent this side of the Atlantic. <laughs> Greg, thanks so much for coming oh, in. Oh, yes. Well, no, welcome actually, home. Gregory Williams Welsh. Yes, yeah, yeah, the three yeah. names. So yeah. you went to SLU High. You St. Went to Louis High. U High, class of 75, yeah. Wow. And, you, and you live in Nashville now? Mm-hmm. And I, from what I understand, Westport Plaza is just packed. They've had to add two shows because all your relatives are showing up. Yeah, <laughs> well, good Catholic family of right. nine, right? Oh, yeah, they, they have added a couple of Sunday evening shows on the 10th and the 17th. I open tomorrow and we'll close on the 17th. Yeah, and you sound so American right now because you are, but you do this British accent. Is it difficult doing a British accent? Give us an example. Well, not really. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm kind of a lingua. I speak fluent Spanish and German and get by in Polish and So you French. can do it all. Well, but it, I mean, the dialects, they, they come easier to me because I, my, my language skills have allowed me to imitate in, so I can do a bit, a bit of a British. And you have to if you're going, you know, one must do a British accent. One, one must do right. doing C.S. Lewis. Well, C.S. Lewis, um, this is a guy who was an atheist. He was. And, and, as a and young so man, he, yeah. He, he met J.R.R. Tolkien. Exactly, yeah. Um, Lewis had lost his mother as a young man and then experienced a lot of evil and brutality at the boarding schools he was sent to. And he, he, became, an, uh, he became an atheist. Then he met Tolkien in 20, 1927 or 28, and Tolkien was a very devout Catholic, a very sincere Christian, and just in their, dis you know, they were writers and philosophers, and just in their discussions, uh, Lewis questioned, thought that Christ was a myth, and Tolkien, that set Tolkien off, and they started talking, and, and Tolkien convinced him, and, and oh, it took time. I mean, Lewis, through a series of logical steps, as he said, came to accept that God was there, but not necessarily that Christ, and, and, right. but he worked his way to becoming one of the greatest Christian philosophers of the century. And in this one-man play at Westport, you're sitting there, and you're supposed to be like near Oxford, and you are uh, Lewis, and the audience is basically this group of Americans who came to visit on yeah, Christmas Eve. Exactly. Um, actually, in the early 60s, Lewis's agent would bring, they would bring writer, uh, groups of writers, American writers and historians, to their house in Oxford where he and his brother Warney lived called The Kilns. It was a big living room and they would sit there and have tea and Lewis would, would talk about his life and writing and all that. And so that's the conceit of the show, that they are in my living room. We actually even keep the house lights up a little bit so that it, it, it establishes that relationship rapport between me and the audience as opposed to a fourth wall where I'm, you know, imagining there's the house wall there. Well, we, we don't want to give too much away, but from what I understand, the people who have seen this, they laugh and they even cry. So they're all the range of emotions at this. This is Gregory Williams Welsh. She plays C.S. Lewis, and uh, this is at the West Park Playhouse, and it's now through the 17th of December. They have daytime matinees. Thanks so much for oh, coming in. thank you so much, John, for having Continued me. Continued success. Break a leg, as they say in the <laughs> yeah. business. Yes, I will. The brother, his sister used to be the mayor of U City, Shelley. Two terms. Two terms. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> We're going to take a little break. We'll be back with more Fox News in the morning right after this.